children locked in dog cages, starved, and then forced to eat dog food. It is unthinkable abuse that happened in a Canadian county home. The adoptive parents are in prison. And five years have passed since KOCO broke this story. And now for the first time, one of the kids, who is now an adult, is sharing his story only on five. I can't do that. I can't go back. And, and I was like, if I do, they could probably uh, hurt me uh, just as bad or possibly possibly kill me. Tobiah Ithiel recalls the moment he escaped a decade of abuse at the hands of his adoptive parents, John and Sonia Kluth, people he could only refer to as sir and ma'am. He was five years old when the horror began and gradually got worse. Sonia used um, hot spoons, she used candle lighters and held it, you know, lit it up and let it get hot and uh, she burned any uh, three of our mouths, you know, mine and Rogers and Brown's. Tobiah and his siblings were burned, choked, starved, and forced to live like animals. How often did they lock you in cages? Um, like all the time, as um, pretty much any time as long as we were not in doing our schoolwork or out doing chores. Dog kennels that were often chained with a motion detector nearby and a bucket to use the bathroom in. Tobiah remembers one time he was so hungry he broke out of the cage to find food. John caught him. His face went from surprise to menacing and he drugged me out to the living room he threw me around he he choked me and to be honest I was at the point where like I couldn't see anything it was like black but I was actually screaming like like while uh, my vision was blacking out I was screaming I was uh, I was yelling help 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 and I didn't realize that until he let up there was no one to help him especially not Sonia she trimmed my fingernails completely down to the the skin at 15 years old and a meager 83 pounds Tobiah was once again searching for food when he decided to run away I felt like it was like what 70 75 degrees out and sunny you know uh, but it was 26 degrees on a uh, moonlit night, you know. He ran like he had never run before and eventually climbed into a dumpster to freedom. It was awesome. I, I felt good. A nearby worker found him and contacted police. Tobiah, his brother, and his sister ended up in foster homes. Seven total for Tobiah. As for the Kluths... I feel sorry. Sorry, yes. Sorry for the children, yes. Few words of remorse as they learned their fate. Life in prison for Sonia, 30 years for John. Now 20 years old and attending college, Tobiah has PTSD, flashbacks, and forgetfulness. But also, a loving family, foster parents he can finally call mom and dad. And as his shirt reads, he has his savior. And in the end, he will provide everything you need. In the end. You know, Tobiah is doing remarkably well. He wants to finish college and eventually lead a Bible study and work in the technology sector. He tells me he has written the Kluths in prison and says only John has responded.